The music is familiar, but the backdrop for this New Orleans brass band is a city in central Italy that was here 2,000 years before New Orleans came into existence. Every summer, some of the world's jazz greats flock to the ancient city of Perugia for the Umbria Jazz Fest. The setting is spectacular. Jazz and soul music and funky rhythms blast from an outdoor stage that's only a few steps away from a 13th century fountain. For nearly 10 years, this Italian festival has put the spotlight on the Cool Bone Brass Band from New Orleans. Actually, 11 days, we do our two parades a day. Take, we take a break, we stop at the local uh, pub, so we brought the people to the club to give us a drink of our choosing. After playing with groups like the Olympia Brass Band and the Soul Rebels, Steve Coolbone Johnson formed his own band in 1984, and they brought their New Orleans sound around the world. But we are ambassadors. I mean, we have to, we have to spread us to the world, and that's what we do. We ambassadors, we represent. So anything that we do uh, reflects up on home. The fact that Coolbone is invited back every year speaks volumes about their performances and the unique feel and rhythm of their music. If it's too straight, it, it don't give you that extra pop and the extra, the extra jump. So you want to emphasize that weak beat. It, boom, boom, tick it, tick it. It's definitely for real. I love New Orleans traditional music more than any other music. And uh, when I get into it, I get into it. <laughs> You've got to watch out that the slide might be coming your way. <laughs> if they couldn't come out, I'll bring a little bit of it in it for them, you know. That's cool. <laughs> Like many friends and families from New Orleans, Hurricane Katrina changed the lives of Cool Bones members. While a few still live in New Orleans, others live in places like Houston, Dallas, and Huntsville, Alabama. Terrell Warren, who's serving as Cool Bones Grand Marshal in Italy, is one of those forced to move away from his hometown. I'm in Dallas now. I've been trying to get back since the hurricane, but Dallas is where I sleep. I still live in New Orleans, though. <laughs> but there was an unexpected benefit for others. Steve Johnson is now a high school band director in Huntsville. He's passing on the music to another generation of players. Three of his Alabama students are now part of Cool Bone, including trumpeter Isaac Jolly. I have a deep love for New Orleans music. You know, you know the melody, you know the key and everything, but then from there you just kind of play whatever, it's, it's, a, it's a music from, made from feeling, basically. Sousaphone player Drew Miller was a middle school band teacher in Huntsville when Johnson arrived with his New Orleans jazz connections. When I was in high school, one of my things was I wanted to do something different. And I'd never seen any jazz tuba players. I said, well, I, I want to try to be a jazz tuba player. And then I didn't quite see the avenue for it to work out. So I said, well, I guess I'll teach. And then Katrina happens, and then now I'm a jazz tuba player. So it kind of... <laughs> kind of worked out. How New Orleans can it get in the streets of Perugia, Italy? Check out what happens when Coolbone spots a few special shirts from home. I'm not sure how Houdat translates in Italian, but on this day, it was all about the sound, a special rhythm and the joy that comes from being part of a very special feeling that is New Orleans. Finding the heart of Louisiana in Perugia, Italy, I'm Dave McNamara, Fox 8 News.